Happy Wednesday, woo, halfway through the week. That makes me so excited. I'm sitting here right in front of my big dog, Sebastian, and he thinks I'm talking to him. So I might be talking in dog voice a little bit. But today I have a, a, a little <laughs> review I want you to do on yourself. It's an exercise, not a physical exercise, it's a mental one, and it's a challenge. Um, I want you to go back through lots of pictures of times in your life where you should have been having fun, where you should have been enjoying the moment and living in the moment and just living it up. For instance, um, a friend's wedding or your sister's wedding or a reunion or something like that. Hi, Missy. The reason I want you to go back and do this exercise is I want to teach you a little bit about self-love. There are many times, hi, Sid, happy birthday, late. There are many, hi Troy, there are many times in our lives that we have big events that come up and we go shopping and we get our hair done, we get our nails done and we just want to feel and look amazing for these things and then we don't. Why? Because we have so much negative self-talk going on in ourselves that we ruin the moments that we could have been enjoying ourselves for absolutely no real reason except for some stupid thing going on in our head. I know this because it happens to me all the time. I will look back on pictures and go, oh, I hated my outfit at that whole wedding. I hated it, it ruined my whole time. Think about how much time and energy we waste because we negatively tell ourselves we look awful or we suck or I was too fat to wear that or I'm not going to that event because I have to wear a swimsuit or all those kinds of things are completely made up in our brains and guess what else? We think at the time that everybody's looking at us going, oh my goodness, she looks so horrible. But guess what? Everybody else is too self-involved in their own self that they're not looking at you. So what is my point? Guys, enjoy everything. Enjoy every day. Enjoy every moment. Enjoy every game. Enjoy every lunch meeting. Enjoy every wedding. Enjoy everything that you go to. Be in the moment when you're there. Live in the moment when you're there. Live on purpose when you're there because you don't get those fun times back. They only happen once. That's one thing about time. Once you missed an event or didn't enjoy it, you don't get it back and then you look back at those pictures and go, oh, I could have had so much fun at that if I would have just loved myself the skin I was in. Guys, there's so much social media about perfect abs and perfect everything. And of course, in my business, I'm trying to help people love themselves. But you'll notice I never say skinny. Ever, ever, ever. Hi Tracy, thanks for joining me. I never say skinny. I'm all about loving yourself. My mission in life is to have everyone that I can come in contact with love themselves and be the happiest, healthiest version of themselves. I have never once in my life said skinny. I don't care about fat, skinny, tall, short, anything like that. I just wanna teach people self-love. I have a friend right now who's going through just tough, tough, tough times, tough things. And when you're going through tough things like that, you can't absorb all the help that people are trying to give you. You just can't because you're just stuck in a place. Self-love only can come from within and it has to be decided upon from within. So it has to be done daily. You need to fuel your self-love every single day just like you feel your body fuel your body with food, your brain has to be given positive, happy, loving thoughts all day, every day. It's just a fact. And you cannot get that from an outside force. It can only come from within. So all of you people out there who are struggling right now with all these big, chaotic, horrible things going on, go back to yourself, start with yourself, start reading some great books or listening and become a student of those and realize what a miracle you actually are and how important you are and get some self-esteem and some confidence about yourself because then everything else that's going on around you is gonna work itself out because you're gonna be a stronger self individual because you love yourself and you can give more love to everybody else. So let me recap a little bit. Go back, look at all your pictures where you basically in your head ruined your time because you thought you didn't look good enough. Guys, what other people think doesn't matter. It's only what you think. So starting today, 
please fill your soul every single day with personal development that makes you and reminds you how important you are and how much Hi Jennifer, good to see you. How important you are and how special you are and how you are the world to somebody. So don't show those people that your world is crumbling or crushed. Show them how much love you can have for yourself so you can teach them to overflow with love too, guys. Constantly fill your cup. And you know what helps with that? Complimenting other people. When you are being selfless and Filling other people's cups, it feels amazing. When you completely let go of yourself and start giving everything from inside you to other people, you won't believe how amazing that feels for you and for them. So I'm starting, I'm kind of getting long-winded today, I'm sorry, but um, it hurts me when I see people hurting out there, and I know now, because I felt the same way, I know now how to fix that, and it all comes from inside and up there, strong faith, strong faith, pray about it, pour prayer and personal development inside of you so you can overflow for everybody else. Go back, look at those pictures, see how many times you wasted, and then say, you know what? Make a point, make a mission to yourself that you will never waste another fun event ever again because you felt icky in your skin. There's no time for that in this little short world that we live in. Our time is short. We should spend it enjoying the loved ones around us and enjoying ourselves because God made us the way he wanted to make us and we should love ourselves just the way we are. So don't miss out on any more fun times because you didn't think you looked good or you didn't feel like you had the greatest outfit because guess what? It doesn't matter because you're awesome just the way you are no matter what you look like. There are all kinds of unique out there and everyone is so special and so amazing. Just live it up and make sure you're teaching your kids and the people around you that exact same thing. Thank you for joining me. Please share my posts for anybody that you think could ever be helped by just a little bit of self-love or a little bit of value that you might take, a little nugget that you might take from these videos. Share away and I hope that as always, oh and you can always ask me questions on here guys. This is live. I am here in my living room with my dog and I'm just coming at you with of course, all morning I poured personal development inside me, so that's why I can bubble it out. But anyway, I hope that you all choose to have your best day ever. Thank you for joining me live, and thank you for watching my videos. And just remember that you're awesome, and make sure you post that all over your house so you can see it all the time. Okay, bye!